hi Aquarius it's Elle here to do a special reading for you so this is um the messages that universe spirit God has for you so let's get into it thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear concise message from you so when I was shuffling off camera, I asked God, I said, what are, what are the messages that the most urgent message you have for the Aquarius? The Queen of Cups came out. And this deck, you know, she's got like a bird-like person under her. Birds could be significant for you, especially if you're tapping into universal energy, your intuition. Spirituality could be very important for you right now. You've kind of been set apart, especially in your, you know, your daily walk. You could come off kind of detached, aloof, like you're not really in it or you're not really, you know, in the drama, in the hoopla of life. You're really just kind of about yourself right now. This is a fixed energy, the Queen of Cups. She's a Scorp She's Scorpio. So some of you could be deep in your emotions going through a deep transformation of your spiritual gift or spiritual gifts some of you are realizing that you have something to offer the world your gift or you are the gift or you need to offer your gifts to the world so this could be like a conditioning cultivation period for you where your your god spirit angels are kind of conditioning you positioning you to offer your gifts, to make your gifts stronger, you know, so that um, you can offer guidance. Because it, it's almost as if this bird-like person is kneeling to her. All right, so it's a really interesting energy here. Let's see. Some of you getting some real heavy psychic downloads, you know. Um, in regards to your creativity, what you should be involved in, in regards to other people, your dreams are significant. You're having dreams about people you haven't seen, saw, talked to in forever. Um, let's see. What, what just flipped over? Some flipped up. Wow. The star card. Yes, these cards are worn, baby. Um, the star card and the three of swords. Yeah, back to, you know, no communication or miscommunication or lack of communication dream space people are thinking of you or trying to look you up people that you have not talked to people who you have separated or divorced yourself from separation or divorce could be heavy here you could be going through that these people are wondering what you're doing for work how things are working out for you how is business is what I heard with the eight of pentacles. Someone's trying to get in your business, trying to figure out what it is you're doing for a business. I heard you usurp, maybe even take something by force or out outright steal something from you. Yeah, the magician, they may be trying to trick you, get back in your life, say things, do things that would allow them to get close to you. This is the salesman. This is somebody trying to sell themselves to you, Aquarius. We've got cancer energy coming up, four of cups. This is somebody who's in a very depressive place. It could be because of a divorce, a separation. Maybe you stopped talking to them. This is somebody here who's trying to tap into your psyche. Someone who's trying to manifest you back. They may have feel like they missed opportunity. They let something slip through their hand. They let an idea that you had slip through their hand. They didn't take advantage of the relationship with you. They were manifesting off of you. They were taking your energy, your, you know, your intellect going somewhere else and manifesting there. That's manifesting off you. The six of swords, you may have made a choice a rational choice just to move on in secrecy also like you kept this undercover like you didn't make a big you know speech about how you're leaving them when you're doing it you know, how they can not expect to get in contact no you just quietly you know maybe the conversations the reaching out the communication start to slowly dissipate
there is somebody here coming back why why is this person trying to or these people is this one person or several it's one person or several family somebody who you thought was family those people judgment ace of swords these people uh, under strict judgment could be scorpio they're in like some living hell like they're living it they're under strict judgment because of something that they did ace of swords some some move that they made they're coming to the truth of the matter that whatever they did to you or said to you they shouldn't have said what is this about the two of swords they're coming to some understanding that you cut them off or you cut them out and you're you're about to embark on some great you know um endeavor prosperity it says make a plan though This person, oh, they know that you're about to, that things are about to turn for you. They can feel it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The eight, all right. The karma, eight is a karmic number because it goes in a circle, right? So this person knows that your position in life is about to change for the better because theirs is going down. They understand that. You could be dealing with a magician, a warlock, somebody here. Let's see. The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Pisces. You can see this around that time, Pisces or Sagittarius time, time period. Uh, Yeah, your fortune, they know that your fortune is about to change. They know this more than you know, is what I'm hearing. Like, you feel something big is about to happen for you, but they know it. Their time, you know, up on the wheel, when they had more than, when they had an abundance of, when they were usurping. Woo, so somebody took something from you, stole something from you, maybe even your... Your birthright. We had family come up. They know that that their time is up. Okay, their time is up, and they're about to reap what they've sown, and what they've sown was negativity, evil, and you're about to reap the benefits, the transference of wealth. So they had the wealth. For the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. So it, it's about to change. It's about to change here for you, Aquarius. These people know it. They know it more than you know. It. You had a three of wands. You're about to have major success. Something that's going to be wildly successful for you. It's going to be far reaching. You want to be in a leadership position, role. King of Pentacles. Money will not be, you know, of concern here. I heard on top of, on top of, on top of. I don't know what that means. So it's like maybe you'll have money on top of money on top of money. So something is just going to be stacking. Because again, you use your gift or gifts. Six of cups. Because something that was you were born with, you're going to help people declutter their emotions walk into their purpose choose make make the choice of have a systematic approach to to life understanding that one thing feeds the next and the next and this and that and you're going to help people yeah eight of wands something's definitely big is coming you can help a lot of people Something is coming to conclusion. Uh, Sagittarius, you could have Sagittarius in your chart. Pisces, something's going like you're going through a major transformation, major transition. Okay. 
Eight of Wands. Um, it's happening quickly. You've got to be ready. Be ready to strike. This is the law of attraction. This is what you have been attracting. This is what you have been manifesting. This is what you've been praying for. This is what you've been putting out to the universe. These people now are obsessed with your energy, obsessed with you, obsessed with reaching out to you, talking to you, page of wands. You're about to live life, you know, how you want to do what you want, do what you love to do and what you want to do for work. Also, you yeah, three of pentacles fell out. You're about to put out some real quality work. People, the people will patronize you. They're, they're going to be throwing their money at you to work with you. Something is definitely coming to a conclusion. The declaration of intentions. Someone may declare their love for you. That they want to start over. Build with you. Learn how to, to share their life with you. Oh, I can't make it up. So I was trying to shuffle right. And the card said. Flip. Two of cups with the lovers. You could be meeting someone new. Or this is someone from the past. Spirit. Is this a new person or a past person? There's somebody here who may be coming back. Is this a new person? It's like a lot of things with the eight of wands coming at you at once. Obstacles being removed in your life because you found balance. Tame the, Le the Leviathan. Mm. I don't know what. The hangman coming out. This could be a past person. Maybe you had to leave. You had to sacrifice them. You had to sacrifice the relationship. You had to make some sacrifices. This person was hanging around waiting for you to come back. But you, you never showed up. So it looks like they may be coming to you. It's a new person, a past person. Five of wands. This could be new, new love. The chariot. Merkaba. Coming into. Oh. So some of you are going to be really successful. Right? There's going to be so many different people after you. For so many different reasons. Is that right? We got past. We got new. Are there going to be so many different people at the Aquarius? Yes. Nine of Pentacles. Because, I mean, you're going to, you're like a walking garden. People are going to see you as as such. There has been a transformation, a transfiguration that has happened with you. You've come to some enlightened state. You also are kind of closed off to love because you're still learning. You're still transitioning. Or there has been a transition of your personality. Of how you look at things. Maybe even your philosophy. Your guru. People come to you. It's going to be so many people trying to be with you. Be in love with you. Be in some type of romantic connection with you. All because you're successful. You made something happen in a short amount of time. You look good. Like physically look good. You also look good on paper. Like you check every box. Yeah. Knight of Wands. Attractive. Attractiveness. Charismatic. Outgoing. Fit. Spontaneous. Funny. The budding entrepreneur. So it's like so many people are going to see you successful. It's going to attract a lot of different energy. Nine of Cups. I don't know you some of you may remain single just spoiled for choice it's just what I heard okay. queen of wands single abundant again attractiveness like you you are like a manifesting machine what is this about What is this about for the Aquarius? Like. 
there's an energy, a glow about you. And it's just like captivating. And it's bringing so many different. It's bringing animal kingdom to you. Like you may see that animals are attracted to you. What is this about? Motivation. Yeah. Your motivation. You're motivated to succeed. You are powered by the universe. What is this about for the Aquarius? What is this about? Leaving. I knew that was coming out. Some of you left toxicity, drama, toxic relationships, whether it be family, romantic, anything, friend. You left it behind. And I think people are reaching for you now. Old and new. What else for the Aquarius? Finances. They're going to look great. People are going to be attracted to you for so many different reasons. Financial. Because you, you look good. Because you can manifest anything. Because you're a spiritual enlightened being. Discernment. Discernment with the two of swords. Oh, okay, yeah. So some of you, you're going to have to pray for discernment. You've had a dietary change, so you look different. The universe is supporting you. Decisions or discernment. The adult children. Some of you have adult children. You are the adult ch uh, child. You may have to look backwards, you know, in on your uh, parents. Your mind is clear therefore you're having immense realizations and epiphanies you could be physically moving or you're moving away from what else do we want to tell Aquarius here this is like for some super duper manifesting prayerful grateful gracious Aquarius this isn't if you're still like wrapped in toxicity and you were just arguing yesterday with so and so I don't know if this is your energy you know only you know right wow okay this is stuff <laughs> what is this big 23 highly fortunate number royal star of the lion the lion is God ensures success assistance and support we had the support card from higher ups this person is protected Whew. that's you Aquarius wow wow this is so major this is like major 723 something may happen because you did this. I'm, I'm telling you, this is like somebody who's prayerful. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalms 27, 14. Some of these people are reaching out to you. Old and new. Definitely old because they have no peace. Sleepless nights. Constant. They have to have constant company. Because the, the silence, the aloneness, you know, it, it attacks them. They're always on the phone. You'll always find them on the phone. They never want in silence. Yeah. Aquarius, this is where you're going. And I, I think you're going to live up to this. To whom much is given, much will be required. Luke 12, 48. So you're ready. For those of you who are still, you know, needing, you know, to let some things go, start your healing journey today as long as you wait your blessings will be delayed start today you know um start today you know a little bit at a time of course wow this i, I can't really like i'm trying to go with this but it's just it's so major it's it's major it's major for some of you you know where do you want me to stop? Where, where do, what does the Aquarius need to know? This particular Aquarius. What card do you have for the Aquarius? 
Okay, some cards fell out. Yeah, so this, when we are together, it's pure bliss. When we are apart, the insecurity set in. So this is might be an old person that somebody you have history with. They could have been a sex worker, only fans, exotic dancer, escort into prostitution, prawn, or, or pay for play. And they, they didn't take breaks between relationships ending. They like just goes, bounces. They bounce from one person to the next. Their spending habits may suck at this time. And they can be very catty, dramatic, petty, and gossipy, a warmonger. So they just cause um, disturbance. This is how they see you. You know, you deserve so much more than I'm giving. I'm sorry. That's all they can offer you is an apology. Okay. Is there anything else? Okay, you want to tell the Aquarius, Three of Pentacles, you're being powered by the the divine. Um, you're putting out high quality work because the divine is blessing it. You've come into understanding. You've come into true enlightenment of masculine and feminine energy. Look at that masculine and feminine energy video I put out. You know, it's powerful. That's transfiguration. That's enlightenment. When you understand those two dynamics, the Leviathan and the behemoth, when you can get in control of the two, then you have true enlightenment and then you have God's blessing, the divine. You know? There's somebody here who can't sleep at night. Nine of swords. There's somebody who's a night shift worker. Um, attack. Somebody can't sleep at night because they know that they messed over an earth angel. You know, um, they they mess up the best thing that they had or have. You could own a pair of wings, like as a costume. It's funny. You could own a pair of wings as a costume. Yeah, they they know that you're their sunshine. You were the one. They brought a lot of positivity in their life, a lot of light, a lot of radiance. The universe is shining bright on you. This is the summertime of your life, Aquarius. This person, without you, you being gone, the four of cups, you know, they, this is what they were focused on, the three of cups. And they weren't focused on the one cup, which was you. He came from the divine. And now they're feeling like they missed out on the opportunity that now you're, you could reject them. The temperance card coming out could be Sagittarius. Um, doesn't have to be. It's like more so this person is trying to figure out how they can get things back in order. Make it right. Uh, at least be your friend. Come to some compromise uh, to be in your life or them in yours or just some. You in my life, I'm in your life. This person wants access to you. Yeah, they don't like that. There's no communication. This is like when you leave Aquarius, this person, this particular person, maybe in this group of people, the lights go out. See, when you're there, you're the sun. You know, there's a lot of positivity and good energy. When you leave, lights are out. There's nothing holding these people together. There's nothing holding these people in a positive state. They're all miserable and in negativity. The Hierophant. Some of you, I heard North Node and Taurus. Yeah, that's where the North Node is now. So some of you are really embarking on a financial security, luxury, being stable, having stable connections, guiding, guidance. Some of you are really, you know, stepping into your power, earthly, spiritual power. Um, being initiated into some group learning about spirituality, religion. Yeah, maybe even divination, being consistent with your learning. Aquarius, being consistent with your enlightenment. You've got great reward on the other side of, of consistency. 
uh, good news about financial matters. You may even have more than one love offer. You're going to have to make a decision. Somebody wanted you to stick around, you know, as they offer you words, words of devotion, words of you being the one, but there is no physicality of it. There is no manifestation of it. Mm. Hmm. This came out in reverse. None of the cards should be reversed. Four of swords in reverse. This person wants to come out of separation with you. They felt like it was temporary anyway. They may not have a plan for the future, but they, they're definitely wanting you. We could be dealing with the Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, whomever. Some of you about to come out of hiding or come out of resting or conditioning and then come into fame, fortune, acclaim, a new life, luxury. Because, um, you, again, you're going to be an expert, some type of expertise, some type of stability in your field. You're going to be recognized as such. This is happening fast for you. And it's all because of, you know, it's all because of the seeds you planted in the past. So you're about to see some our germination, fruition, vegetation. I don't know. You're about to see something grow. You're about to have great harvest. Plant the seeds, germinate, right? Watch it grow. Get the harvest. Your life is about to change quickly. The nights are air. So this is air of fire. So you got two very fast moving energies. You're about, especially if <sighs> these two cards, they finish what you start also. With the seven of pentacles and the knight of wands. Some of you are moving or making a move. Some of you are going from destitution, homelessness to new home. Damn, some of you are really moving. Eight of Cups. Or power seat. You're in the power seat. You have to sign a new contract, lease. Something is binding, but whatever is binding, it takes you to complete um, like a I'm lost for words. Oh, like you, you become a guru of how to maintain, get money. Have spiritual enlightenment. You're learning about spirituality because you have enough money, enough abundance. You have an overflow to do so. You've withdrawn from the world. You've withdrawn from someone also, and it, it put them in the nine of swords. Because all they were offering you was pettiness, relationships that didn't have any progression. New starts, ending, new start, ending. And they were comfortable possibly doing this for a lifetime. Now they want to heal the severed connection. They may even come back with a, a ring or some gift. It could have great value. Hopefully it's not great value, Walmart. <laughs> um... They could be coming back saying they had a transition. They want their relationship back. They want to heal the severed tie. They want to give you some gift. They want something of significance. You are significant. They have they be they could say I've sacrificed this person from the past. This addiction, whether it be sexual. They may be saying they've gotten you know, they have gotten stronger in terms of their addiction. They can 
fight it. They can kick it. Because that is what you're asking. Okay. Yeah. And they want you to make some fast judgment about them. Like, are you allowing me back? You know, um, and they also want you to forgive and absolve. Like, let it go. Don't hold me in contempt. At, you don't hold me, you know, the account of what I did from the past. Yeah, this person definitely wants to reconcile with you or reconcile some things. So this is what I learned in meditation today. Let me go get this.